All right, so in this video, I wanna cover the top five essential sneakers for under $100 for spring and summer 2018. What is going on guys, Hess here, collectivekicks.com. And if you guys wanna shop this week's top sneaker deals, check that link in the description. Right now they actually have some really amazing steals on the Adidas NMDs as well as the CS1s, the Parlay versions, both really, really crazy good prices. Shout out to Leo who left a comment suggesting this video. I did a little bit of a modified version of this video because I really wanted it to be a couple things. One, essentials for under $100. I also wanted the price point of $100 to be retail not just sneakers on sale. There's a ton of different sneakers that I post all the time on Collective Kicks and on Twitter that are under $100, but I just wanted to stick to the core five that I think are essential and also retail at $100 any time of the year. If you guys have future suggestions for top five Tuesday videos, again, always leave the comment in the comment section what you guys want to see in the future. So before we get into the top five, there are a couple runner-ups I need to mention, one being the Puma Suede. It's a great option for under $100 hands down a classic for sure and definitely could be in the top five. Another runner up that I wanted to mention is the Saucony Jazz, Shadow, or even the Grid 9000. All of them cost under $100 retail and all of them are great shoes. I personally prefer the Grid 9000, but the Saucony sneakers are definitely a runner up in my opinion and definitely would be in a top 10 under $100 because they offered such an iconic silhouette to myself, especially since I designed my own Grid 9000. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's get into the top five. The number five spot goes to the Reebok Classic Leather. It released in 1983 as a running shoe, but it gained popularity as a lifestyle sneaker and is still a staple in today's market. For $75, you get a soft garment leather upper, which gives you superior comfort. Die cut EVA midsole provides lightweight cushioning as well. It is a simple looking sneaker, but in my opinion, it's an essential. Kendrick Lamar also kicked up some dust with Reebok Classic Leathers last year but uh, obviously he's moved on to the Nike Cortez. But still, I feel like the Reebok Classic Leather offers a nice premium feel for the price point of only $75. The number four spot goes to the Vans Old Schools. They retail at only $60 and originally released in 1977. The Old School debuted the now famous Vans Sidestripe. The Old School is also Vans' first skate shoe that incorporated leather panels for increased durability. What started as a random doodle by Paul Van Doren was originally referred to as the Jazz Stripe, and it's become an unmistakable hallmark for the Vans brand. Other favorites in the same genre are the Authentics as well as the Slip-Ons, but no matter which one you end up choosing, Vans offers a great option for a durable, reliable, and affordable sneaker. And if you guys missed it, I did an unboxing of the old school Homer Simpson version that I ended up designing. If you guys want to purchase the Vans Old School or any of the other sneakers in this countdown, check the link in the description. The number three spot goes to the Adidas Stan Smith or the Adidas Superstar. I couldn't really pick one and both of these really belong in the countdown, but I also wanted to leave the options open for other brands. So Stan Smith's originally released in 1960s, but actually wasn't called the Stan Smith until 1973. And leave a comment in the comment section if you actually know what the Stan Smith was originally called. The Stan Smith's cost about $75 on the open market. For $80, you can get the Superstars, and those ones actually released in 1969. They're also known as the Shell Toes, but they have a ton of different names other than those. And when you think about essential sneakers, especially by Adidas, both of these sneakers come to mind. A lot of people in this modern market think of the Superstars as thought shoes, but I remember them from the Run DMC era with the B-Boys and the Fat Laces. One of these sneakers were for tennis, one of them were for basketball, but both are consumed for lifestyle and our modern day successes for the brand. Many people that I know own either pair of these sneakers and they probably can't even name five other Adidas models, but they know what these are and that's the power of these in modern culture. The number two spot goes to the Nike Air Force One. Yes, I know this is a summer sneaker list and this is a full on leather sneaker with a really heavy rubber sole, but it is still a summer essential, especially a white on white Air Force One. They're 90 bucks for the low top version and they originally released in 1982. It was the first Nike basketball sneaker with Nike Air in it. And I actually did a very detailed video on the Air Force One and all the history. If you guys actually wanna check out that video, check the link in the description. The Air Force One was a revolutionary hoop shoe of the 80s, but it has relevance in today's culture still. In 2017, Complex Con featured many collaborations with the icon with the iconic model. For those deep rooted in sneaker culture, they have a number of limited colorways through the 90s and early 2000s, but they also still have the white on whites in stock everywhere as well at all times. In my opinion, Nike hit the proper stride with hype and availability, which is why this shoe continues to be a mainstay. 
All right, we made it to the number one spot. If you guys are enjoying the content or learn something new in this video, smack the like button and subscribe to the channel. Notification bell if you want to be notified when I post. Number one spot for me personally goes to the Converse Chuck Taylor All-Star. And they originally released in the 1920s as a non-skid basketball shoe. But it wasn't until 1949 that Converse decided to make the toe guard, laces, and outer wrap white, which gave the appearance of the iconic black and white Converse All-Star for today. The Converse Chuck Taylor All-Stars are the number one spot because they are a stable beyond sneaker culture, but also very welcome within. If you walk around any grade school, middle school, high school, or college, you will see people wearing chucks in an array of different canvas styles and patterns. These are the epitome of an essential. Even though Virgil's off-white collection has really drawn a lot of mainstream attention to the Chuck Taylors, I really think that you guys don't need to spend $1,000 on a pair of chucks. You're much better off going and buying a $40 or $50 classic looking colorway. And honestly, I have at least two in my collection at all times. But this is my essentials list. What do you agree with or disagree with? What did I miss? Comment below. Let me know. If you want me to cover five modern sneakers under $100, leave that comment again as well. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. There is a big playlist of top five videos in the description as well if you guys want to see some of the other videos. And if you guys click the screen at this time, you can actually see some of those videos as well. Have a great rest of the day. We'll catch you guys for some more videos soon. Peace, guys.